All right, everybody, I'm going to show you a really fast and easy way to make an acoustic three string cigar box guitar. All right, first things first, you're going to get your wood and get your materials. So I found this awesome cigar box. <coughs> I got my, this one here is just plywood that I glued together. And then I'll use this guy for the heel. All right, I'm going to cut this down to 33 inches. 33 inches, this is going to be my neck. Okay, and all I'm going to use is files, a saw, file, and sandpaper. Okay, that's it. All right, I'm not going to go into detail as far as the fret slots and stuff like that, but I will show you a couple of things here. Okay, so I there's these online templates that you can buy. If you want to get like really exact, right? I also like these templates. Print them off the internet. And then also, what I did is I just got a ruler and I scratched them from my favorite guitar. And then of course, made the uh, just intonation um, template with this thing here. But you will need one of these specific saws with a 0 0.023 kerf, right? A lot of a lot of times I use this trusty little miter thing to get the saw exactly up and down, right? I also have a video right here, ta-da, that shows you a real specific way to do precise, precise slots and depths and everything. So anyhow, I'm not going to go into that in this video. Instead, I'm going to go into this section. Okay, I've been working really hard and I got the box almost ready to go. I use a circular saw for the sound holes. Be real careful, these things are sharp. And then I file and sand these things smooth. You want to remember to measure twice and cut once because you want these things to be centered and symmetrical. Okay, that's the outside. Here's the inside. So the inside is just going to be acoustic. I have these blocks precisely measured on the bottom. And I precisely cut out these guys, the notches. And these guys are also braced right here at the four corners. So there's three things going on there. I got the bottom blocks, the notches, and the corner brackets. Okay, the neck. All right, so the neck has been filed or glued and filed and then sanded, tapered, so that it goes thinner, thicker, 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 up to the heel. And then I also um, did linseed oil on this thing here. I used the soldering iron to just burn where I'm going to put the tuners, and then to burn the fret position markers on both the top. And so this looks incredible. Oh my gosh. And it's nice and heavy as well. Um, these here blocks I put there, that's to get the back angle. Again, this block here is thicker and this block is thinner. What that does is it creates another a tilted back plane, which gives you higher action here for your, for your fingers. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's all together. Ain't she pretty? All right, we're putting on the final touches. All right, finally, we are done. I've strung it up with medium acoustic phosphor bronze. It's the A, D, and G strings. And of course I am tuned down to E, B, E. This is a string through the body. The box is attached by these two screws here on the back and by these four screws on the four corners on the top. 
All right, so the strings are kind of stretched out. Uh, they're still stretching here, but what I'm doing is I'm intonating this by adjusting this saddle piece back and forth to make sure that the harmonics line up exactly over the 12th fret and 19th fret. So use a tuner and make sure that the fretted note is the same as the harmonic above it. That's intonation, that's very important. All right, so once it's intonated, just play it up and down, make sure that the action is right. And you can lower the action by just sanding the bottom of this thing ever so slightly to bring it down to get this fret height, or the string height right above the fret. So you can play around with that. I like to make sure that I have at least a quarter of an inch of a lip right there to begin with so that I can, so I'm not banging the pick on the surface of the, of the box there. So that's it, take your time, make sure you carve it so that it feels right and then sand it nice and smooth, stain it, hit it with some oil. I think you would be surprised at the results. You would feel a lot better building it yourself than just buying one. So that is it, my friend. Three string cigar box. Why three strings? Because six strings are definitely, oh, sorry, three strings too many. <laughs>